Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Shine Your Light podcast, guys. I am your host, Lachelle Hooks. Woo, 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 woo. (laughs) I am so excited to be here, y'all. I I feel like I'm with a celebrity right now in the building, okay? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, I am, I'm going to get right into it, y'all. I'm going to introduce this beautiful woman, okay? She is an author, Black Queen. Amen. She is an author. She is a um, inspirational speaker, a wellness trainer, and director. Let's welcome the beautiful Ashley S. Stokes to the table. Okay, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you Thank for you being so much. here. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. For I appreciate sure. you being here. So before we get into it, I just need to let you know what your book and your message meant to me. Okay, Okay? we give it live review. Listen, (laughs) (laughs) listen, y'all. First of all, it was a page turner, Mm -hmm. okay? Second of all, I could relate to it in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of women in our audience can as well and probably men as well. But... Don't make me cry, girl. Listen... (laughs) The number one thing I say, okay, Mm -hmm. is when we go through things Mm -hmm. in life, it is our responsibility to tell our story. Yeah, for sure. And it takes a lot of boldness for us to be able to Mm -hmm. do that, Mm -hmm. okay? Um, And I feel like a lot of people don't share their stories out of fear. And as a result of that, they're not walking in their purpose. Mm -hmm. You are a woman who is walking oh, in her purpose. You. Thank you so much. Amen. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just, you know, honored to, to know you and be in mm-hmm. your presence, girl. So let's get into it. Yeah. No tears, y'all. Yeah, no tears. <laughs> let's get into it. But it's real yeah. and it's powerful. It's power in, in that book. Thank and you. it's powering you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So what made you write it? Um. I think that the the main thing that made me write Lost in Child Welfare, which is available on my website, by the way, um, AshleySTokes.com. But um, I wanted to be able to tell my story in a different way to become free, like free my own self from my own thoughts. I think I was really worried about um, the people that would be inside of the book more Mm -hmm. so than myself. And I think the biggest thing for me was just to say my say my piece, just yeah. become free. Like, I just wanted to be, um, I just wanted to give like, you know, my own personal perspective on what I went through in foster care, because I think that people hear that term and they always think about it in a, in a different way or um, like maybe a good situation or um, like, you know, well, the state took care of you type of thing. Right. But I always tell people like, if you really knew the half of, what had happened or what transpired for me. Um, And to me, I feel like that's only a quarter that's in my book. Yeah, I felt some stuff missing. I'm like, I want to know more. It's only a quarter of, you know, and and the reason why I did it that way um, is because this is a journal. Like a a lot of the things that's in the book came from my journals. Yeah. And I wanted to be able to like just share a real honest perspective from someone who actually went through the trenches of it. Like I always say the streets raised me because they did. Yeah. Um, I don't really have like that mama father type of thing that was that, you know, is a normal way. I'm, I'm not going to say normal, but whatever normal is, normalcy is in mm. um, black households. But I always feel like, 
you know, telling my story is is a part of who I am. And I think that I'm naturally a storyteller um, um, because I, I, I kind of pull people in in that capacity. And I think that it's really like it's a good thing that I pull people in. But I also want them to see the raw, like organic authenticity of who I am and not to say like this is who I am, but this is what made me who I am. And Amen. I want to be able to come out in a different way. Like I want to be able to just become more of the Ashley S. Stokes that I've always wanted to be type yeah. of thing. And it it kind of makes me smile and feel better like about myself. Like I'm not going to even say kind of, I feel better about myself yeah. um, knowing that I am free from yeah. my internal thoughts. Amen. Um, I don't so, think... Yeah. I don't think you realized how many, and maybe you do realize. Maybe I a little bit. You, I tr- you know what? I try to be humble, um, but I, I did another pie interview and she was telling me, she was like, nah, yeah. like, I don't know why you being humble. Like you work this hard for, yeah. for where you are right now. There's no reason for it. And I just, I guess I try to move with grace. Amen. Now. I just want to move with grace Amen. through and my life. You know what I mean? It's all so I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like. I don't think you realize also Mm -hmm. how many people you're going to tap into. Mm -hmm. Um, You look, I'm be honest, y'all. I mean, look at her. She (laughs) she looks like a woman that has it all together. Yeah. But you had to go through a lot of trials Mm -hmm. and tribulations to get to this point. You are evidence that Mm -hmm. people out here that are going through things that, that were raised a certain way, that they don't have to stay in that. Oh, for sure. Exactly. And they can, you know, they can get to a better space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're not going to tell everybody what happened in the book now. They, <laughs> they got to get the book for themselves. We can't tell them what happened in the book. But I just want to just give kind of like a, a quick overview. Yeah, for sure. We can go over it. Yeah. You were, you were raised in hardship. Mm-hmm. I was raised in hardship. Mm-hmm. Okay. A lot of women, a lot of people were. But some people adopt that mindset. They stay in it. Yeah. They sit in it. Yeah. They bask in it. It's yeah. everything that they do dream that they, they live. That's all they can see. They can't see see, They don't see outside of it. So how did you get to a place where you were able Mm -hmm. to see past everything that was in front of you to be able to develop yourself into the woman that you are today, that we all admire, girl. Oh, okay, girl. Don't keep throwing that little <laughs> yes, bit of shots girl. in there. <laughs> yes, I'm like, where the drum roll? It's audience clap. I ain't doing no bombs. Okay, all there we go, drum stuff. roll. Energy, energy. <laughs> um, I, I think that the biggest key piece that I would say is a lot of therapy. I yeah. think um and and again let me stop saying think i know in black households that's not something that we really do um it's not you know we always say the you know you don't need therapy or what do you need that for Mm -hmm. um and honestly with the support of my therapist and just friends that i've created family with um i think that's the biggest key piece that helped me get to that point um i was also more of a self-motivated type of person though like you know i always talk about the story of meeting antoine fisher yeah um and i think that's that's one of the biggest pieces in my life because when i do have a a sit down dinner and i'm just gonna manifest it i just want to take the man to dinner and let him know what he did for me at 16 because i use that now you know what i mean um and just let them know like where i come from and how and why the reasons why i do the things that i do um is because he inspired me in a different way um like you know sitting at Summerfest at 16 years old i I promise you probably could have heard a pin drop in there it was so quiet when he was singing or not necessarily singing but he was doing the poem who will cry for the little boy Mm. and that poem it touches me in a different way like you know at the end when you know in the movie rather Denzel had asked him you know who will cry for Mm. the little boy and he said I will Mm. and that Mm. right there just changed my whole life like Oh, it's happy tears, yes. you know what I mean? Like it makes me feel good, yes. like now about me. If he didn't share, if, if he didn't his say story. that story, or 
Um, because I didn't watch the movie before then, but I watched it after and I got the book. The book is more detailed than the movie. Mm -hmm. Tommy needs some tissue. Um, but, <laughs> um, but I think that, you know, when he said he will cry for the little boy. Yeah. And when I seen that in the movie and I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's my target. That's yeah. my change. I want to be just like him because I saw, I saw somebody who was broken who was wounded, who was down, who felt like they would never come from this place, um, who was just saddened about life, who didn't really want to be here. Mm -hmm. um, he was in a, a, a pale, a stale place, just um, a place of like almost that you don't really want to remember, but you have to remember. Um, he so was just surrounded by... Yep so much that he just felt like wow like what is going on in my life and I felt him saying that you know what I mean like I thought of myself when he was saying that poem and when he did that poem that was I was like I want to be just like Antoine Fisher and he's literally he's an author he's a storyteller he's a director he's a narrator he is somebody who lived and breathe Antoine Fisher. Like Amen. that's the name of his business. Like Amen. he is the business. He's Amen. the face. And and I was like, yeah, that's gonna be Ashley S. Thug's watch. It already <laughs> is. It already is because just like he shared his story mm -hmm. and it was able to change your yeah. life, you shared mm -hmm. your story mm -hmm. and it is impacting a multitude. For sure. A multitude of people. So amen to that. I'm gonna pray on that too because I yeah. I, I want you I want you to meet him and have that sit down. But I think, honestly, it'll affect him more yeah. than it, it would affect you. Yeah. I just want to tell him, like, you know what you did for me at 16? Yeah. Like, and, you know, at some point when that do happen for me, um, I just want to thank him. Yeah. Like, you, he changed my life. Because like, that's confirmation of yeah. what, that what you're doing mm -hmm. is what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I knew at 16 what I was going to be. Like I, I've always known that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I knew at sixteen. Like God be late. I want to be playing the seeds early, y'all. I want to be. <laughs> I, I gotta say what my story is because I knew that it would be impactful. Yeah. Um. Then, like all of this stuff, I'm going through this for a reason. Mm -hmm. Like somebody is out here going through it still, and I'm only 32 years old, but I feel like you're going through it because you ain't got through it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you still feeling it because you ain't shared it. You ain't got it out of you yet. Yeah. Um, and maybe that person is scared or maybe that person is, um, embarrassed, just sometimes embarrassed, embarrassed yeah. um, or just fearful of yeah. what if, you know, I think about it like this, you know, if you keep thinking about what if you ain't gonna know, what is you never ooh -hoo, you that know was what I mean? powerful like so it's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> that was powerful yeah. too, babe. you keep thinking about what if you'll never find out what is yeah. powerful yeah Beautiful, yeah. beautiful woman. For sure. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh, girl, I'm trying. girl, it's effortless. When yeah. you're walking in your purpose, mm -hmm. it's just, it flows and it's just effortless. And we thank God for you um, for being able to be so transparent about mm -hmm. your journey. I appreciate That's that. going to open the door for others to be transparent about their journey mm -hmm. as well. At least I hope so. Yeah, for sure. Because it's healing. Yeah. Oh, healing is a big word right now. I, yeah. I, I call it a buzzword right now, but yeah. I think that it's something that we all kind of focus on naturally yeah. um I feel with like life with with me and I you know I was uh -huh. I was guilty of this and I feel like a lot of people are right now um we hold everything in oh yeah you remember I, back in the day I, I still hold stuff yeah, in yeah. I'm still like oh I don't know if they, they ready for this part yet let me kind of melt on that no, nah, you know give it I mean? to us. Give it to no, us. And, you know, some <laughs> stuff, too, is also sacred, yeah. too. Some stuff is a little bit sacred to yeah. myself, and, and that's okay. You know what I mean? It's yeah. always when to win and setting those boundaries, even with yourself. You sometimes have to set those boundaries with yourself to Ooh. let you know that, you know, like, I'm not ready yet. Or even if you are ready, maybe that readiness is not for a place of people. Okay. Is um, it kind of looking at the purpose of why I'm yeah, putting it out yeah. there? Okay. Um, it's it's almost like a feeder yeah. for me. Okay. You know, like I can always go back to look at the why. Ooh. Like I love to look at the why um versus, you know, like damn, I've been through a lot of stuff, but it's more like I got through it. it. I got yeah. through it. I went through it. 
and this is my purpose now. So I'm I'm literally literally walking in my purpose. Like yes, you are. living in my purpose, breathing my purpose. Yes, I know what it is. I know why I'm here. So Amen. Yeah. And y'all out there <laughs> <laughs> who have gone through things, you know, you wasn't raised in that two parent household with the love and the support that we all mm -hmm. desired. Yeah, for sure. This book, Lost in Child Welfare, is evidence that you can be so much more than what your environment was yeah. as a child mm -hmm. amen amen so i just i just thank you for that queen mm -hmm. so now <laughs> like let me shift gears listen <laughs> actually right right before right before we do i just want to ask this because i can almost like see you writing yeah and and see the tears mm -hmm. and 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 feel, i could feel you as i'm i'm reading this some some of the things made me mad yeah you know? that's good. i'm glad <laughs> it did. that's some, the you goal know do with the freckles you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i some of the things really really um upset me mm -hmm. but i want to ask you because i feel like that's a part of therapy, writing and get, oh, getting God. that out. I feel yeah. like that that's a part of the healing process. It is. What what were you feeling as you were writing? Um, like I mentioned to you, um, a lot of the, the book is from my journal. Okay. Um, and some of the things that I, you know, I just elaborated oh, you on. It over. Yeah. Okay. So I did a lot of Ooh, uh elaborating mm -hmm. um from you know the story and kind of do it. I did more of explaining that piece that I maybe wrote in the journal. So like, you know, you mentioned, you know, the dude with the freckles mm. um, and, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it is what it is. Like yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm in a place where, you know, I am healing is forever, but I am healed from that piece of yeah. my life because I'm able to move forward and I'm able to talk about it. Um, and even if you're in a place where you're not able to talk about it, um, I think that a big piece for me is being like free from that thought, that that moment of my mm -hmm. life. So healing is definitely a buzzword, but um it's a it was it, it was therapy for me writing it. Okay. I had to get it out, yeah. type of thing. Cause if I didn't, um, you know, to, to be an adult woman now. Um, versus my kids. So, you know, I was always thinking about, I'm going to go back to do X, Y, and Z. And I've always kept those places and things in my mind that I wanted to go back yeah. to, you know, cause harm on those who harmed me. Oof. Um, and Oof. you know what the saying is, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. And I was just hurt. I was going through a place of like, like how could somebody do that to a kid? And I was angry. Like yeah. I'm, you know, just living through that anger, that aggression, that you know, and I'm still, I'm still learning this new term, soft life. Um, what soft life mean? What soft life? I, I, whatever you want it to mean, but it's just releasing that um, my masculine side. Like I'm just walking in your feminine energy. I'm, I just want to walk in my yeah. feminine energy, and I just want to be able to, when you, do. you know, mm -hmm. I don't have to be aggressive to get my my needs met. Um, now we can be when we're in a protective state. Yeah, so that's and and, and that's true because I feel like you know I was in a protective state, mm -hmm. and like I have to recognize not everybody's trying to harm me, and that comes from a place of um, my experiences. I don't really call my traumas my traumas. I call it my experience um, because mm -hmm. you know it's something that I went through, and therapy is writing for me. Um, aside from talking to someone, because necessarily when I was young, I didn't really like to talk to people. I didn't feel like they knew where I was coming from. Um, because again, you know, you probably couldn't relate. You can't relate. Relatability is important, especially when you're going through something as traumatic as foster care. Yeah. That I mean, one day in foster care is one too many. Ooh. So for somebody to come in your life and kind of try to tell you what's going on with you, you're like, hold on, mm -hmm. wait. You know what I mean? I'm looking at you and you looking at me. First of all, we look different. Right. You know what I mean? So it's kind of have to we have to understand that it's two different things. Mm -hmm. And I guess the relatability for me was important Okay. Um, to try to understand that. Look, <laughs> you know, I just want somebody to kind of understand. And right now you you ain't doing that for me. Okay. Um, but 
I started writing journaling young, like really young, like yeah. 11, 12. So, and I have every journal that I've wow um, had in my wow. life. So from, you can really look back and kind yeah, of see oh, where you were. It's in my will and testament. Jeez, like it's in my nice. will and testament. They have to be with me. Amen. Yeah, because I'm that. a storyteller. It's, it has to follow me. It's And it's something that, you know, at one point, if I choose to have children, maybe, you know, I'll share those things with them. But it's sacred to me for the for me to keep those journals. Wow. I've got wow. like 40 some journals. It's insane. Wow. <laughs> it's Ooh. insane. I'm like, let me read them, Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's some things that I don't even want to relook at. I understand. You know what I, I understand. Mean? I understand. Yeah. Trust me. I wrote a lot of poetry in my mm-hmm. in my younger years. Yeah. And I was like my my therapy. Trust yeah. Me. I would write it, it in the closet, girl. Yes, yes. So yes, um sure. I definitely mm-hmm. do understand. Now this is gonna be like a therapy session for some of y'all, okay? Not um, a therapy session. Listen, y'all. we gonna we gonna talk about <laughs> all the good stuff and all the fun stuff. We're gonna get into the sip and speak and all of that. Mm-hmm. But I just wanna highlight this. And this is like probably where like the therapy session and stuff comes in. Mm-hmm. So like you were speaking of being distrustful. It's mm-hmm. a lot of people. Yeah, trust is right still hard now, for me. <laughs> see, it's a lot of people right now that have gone through so much turmoil mm-hmm. and they operate in that place of, you know, of not just fear, but not able to trust anybody around them. Yeah, for sure. You know, so how did you get from that place to be able to? Um, Because you spoke about that in the book with the friends, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. Um, you made friends at an early age with these girls and you felt like they also had issues with trust Mm -hmm. and that kind of separated the the friendship Mm -hmm. or -hmm. didn't allow it to grow into what it could have grown into. Yeah, absolutely. So how what is it just the therapy that took the steps of that? Um, Honestly, just, you know, building solid friendships is what kind of took that over um this was somebody told me if you have your hands closed right mm-hmm. can't nothing get into it yeah when you walk around with your hands open you can get money yeah you can get family yeah anything that you want type of stuff anything so that you we want have to, we have to mm-hmm. you know walk around them with them open hearts and it doesn't leave us uh, i was gonna say it doesn't leave us vulnerable but mm-hmm. it really does mm-hmm. but there's power Absolutely. In our vulnerability. Absolutely. But yeah. I didn't learn that until like a couple years ago, though. Yeah. Like, because I struggle with being vulnerable. Yeah. Um, and I know that, you know, releasing my book is what started the vulnerability yeah. um, and just being open to talk about a lot of different things. So for me, um, I think it was more so building solid friendships. I am a uh, a woman who I, I constantly say things like, I got mommy issues. Yeah. Um, and I recognize Me that. Me too, y'all. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that, um, you know, I don't really trust um, people around me who kind of don't have like solid friendships or good relationships with their children Amen. and especially w- women. So I have to kind of have that around me. I have to see that you are a good mom. You know what I mean? I yeah. have to know that like you believe in your kid almost. Those are red flags. Almost more than you kind of believe in yourself a little bit. Because if I you feel don't like... love your child properly, you're yeah. not going to love me properly. Yeah. So, I, yeah. so I need to be able to kind of see. It's almost, in my, it's not at almost, it's in a friendship contract mentally in my mind. <laughs> like, is this woman a good person? And yeah. as you talk about the book, um, I, I seen that, you know, a lot of my friends were, you know, good friends, like young, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I had, I've always had great friends. Mm-hmm. Um, but As you walked into that light and yep. became vulnerable. Did mm-hmm. they begin to show themselves? You a little bit, a little bit more, system? a little bit more. Um, I feel like they always knew that I had some stuff going on up there, like whatever the stuff was. <laughs> but, um, I think that a lot of my friends knew. Like, okay, she, you know, because I was more trusting and letting them know what I was going through and mm-hmm. almost like, please don't tell nobody type of thing. You know, I would kind of make up stories that, you know, I was making up stories more so about me having this so good of a family. Like, oh, yeah, my mom, my dad is coming to pick me up. And, you know, wait till people get on the bus. So, you know, I was portraying that I was someone else. Um, and I really 
wasn't that person. So it was kind of different um, for me to build the trust. But once I started to kind of release that, you know, and have the solid friendships, it was it was a little bit more easier, I, I would say, for me to have trusting relationships um, with friends and, and women and uh, now what I'm doing with Sip and Speak. Yeah. I, I tell the ladies all the time, my club members, I'll be like, y'all don't know. It's helping me more than it's probably helping y'all because y'all helping show me that um, women can show up for yeah. one another. And I got my women can <laughs> <laughs> women can be supported and um, you know, women can be who they want to be. Yeah. And still love on each other, have solid sisterhood and um compassion for one another without, you know, walking in a space thinking envious of a, another woman. And I guess that's um, that's the relationship that I have with my mom. Yeah. So it's important for me to have Sip and Speak Social so that I can see that there are solid women out here in the yeah. world. And um, there there are a lot of yeah. solid women out here. Oh, it's lots of them. Lots of them. <laughs> I see them every day. <laughs> and they looking, they looking to be around mm-hmm. more solid women. Yeah, for but sure. But because of their experiences, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes they kind of um mm-hmm. don't get out as much or you know yeah. don't put themselves out yeah. there and you're you're teaching women um that that does exist yeah, and, and how to be that um in the midst be, of be other the women example. exactly like, exactly be the example i just say i like to be I like to be the voice of the voices. Yeah. Because I I know that there is so many You different... set the president precedents too. And oh, you do I? And speak. I, can t- I can tell. <laughs> I set the tone. I, yeah, you set the tone. You t- and that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed yeah. to create create an atmosphere without judgment. Yes. You know, full of love where everybody can come there and just feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. for yeah, sure. And all that good stuff. So I I'm kind of like an imagine imagining like a woman walking in to your event and you know maybe she doesn't know anybody Mm -hmm. you know um i can feel that she'll automatically be like welcomed yes you know all that good stuff Mm -hmm. so what are some things that you're kind of teaching at the sip and speak event (laughs) well this sip and speak is more so about um inspiration so we have certain themes that we go off of and this one is sip and speak you lit sis Jumpstart your 2023. Hey, you lit, uh, I like that. So we're going into. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> yes, we going Lord. into sip and speak with the mindset of we're jumpstarting 2023. Right. What is going to inspire you to go after the things that you want to go after? Like I mentioned earlier, um, we talk a lot about you know inspiration mm, and healing. And uh, moving thing, forward, yeah, moving catapulting forward, catapulting uh, these people forward. Yeah, you don't have to and stay not, where you are and not staying where you are is yes. really important to me yes. because I know that that's something that I did. Like, yeah. like oh, I've been through this, and right. so this is why I'm kind of like sitting in my sadness or sitting in my sorrow or sitting right. in my grief or sitting in my anger or depression. A lot of times we don't feel like we're worthy, right? Or just sitting in whatever yeah. emotion that you're sitting in, but. In order to be able to heal, you have to also find some inspiration. Yeah. Um, you have to be able to learn ways that help you move forward. Um, you also have to surround yourself by those things that's going to move you forward. It's 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 almost like, um, you know, just think of it. It's like riding a bike. Really, mm-hmm. it's just like okay. You think you're going to get on this bike and not learn without no training wheels? You had training wheels to learn how to ride a bike. Unless you was just one of those kids that just kind of got it. That was me. That was me. I I didn't learn how to ride no bike until I was older. But here's what I'm saying. Like, learning how to do things is kind of like riding a bike. You got to put training wheels on it. And then maybe you're going to go a little bit without the training wheels. And then you're going to learn how to stop. And then you're going to learn how to maybe do a wheelie or ride without your hands. Life is kind of like riding a bike to me. And with Sip and Speak, it's steps to healing, right? You have to learn how to go through that phase of like, (sighs) You know what I mean? Like that deep breath moment. You want that. You know, that's what you want while you're healing. You Mm want to be able to feel free from your internal internal thoughts. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to have like those voices stop at least Mm -hmm. sometimes. You want to be inspired to continue to go forward. You want to be in a place of like just being within your vulnerable self at the same time. But you also just want to learn like ways to continue. 
Like you don't want to just stay there. I I wouldn't want anybody to just stay in that healing. Sometimes you just gotta pop your shit a time or two to get out of it. Like, and I think that that's okay to just break away from the healing. You gotta take a break sometimes. And sip and speak is the yeah, break for you. It's I the break um, for you to actually just woosa, not be a mommy. This is, you know, again, you got to be a great mommy, right? Mm -hmm. If you coming in here saying like you doing it for your kids, I don't want you to say that because you, I want you to you do, it do it for, for you. First. What yeah. are you doing for you? Because yeah. we, we wake up every day doing something for somebody else, mm -hmm. right? But what are you going to do for yourself? Yeah. And that's the event for women. I want women to understand that this is for you. This is your time to shine. Come in here ready to shine. We finna turn it on up turn it up a notch Amen. you know light your flame that's what we that's what we doing y'all up in there igniting stuff huh we will yeah. be igniting some things and sip yes. and speak. we will we will yes. be lighting fires in there Amen. so um whatever it. that fire is for you yeah. you know if that's your way of being inspired or coming to be inspired or finding your inspiration yeah. sip and speak is for you so. i love it yeah. sip and speak is for you y'all november 6th november 6th <laughs> where can i get their tickets um at? on my website ashley at stokes.com and then um also on instagram ashley at stokes is my handle on facebook and instagram the links are available there so you can get your tickets on the events tab awesome strong beautiful powerful woman oh, thank ashley you. <laughs> S. Stokes. would you like to shout out um i know i saw that you had some like guest speakers at the i and do speak. i do i have guest speakers coming through um my moderator is givanchi um Givanche, my bad we call hey, her Givanche. Hey, <laughs> um my moderator is g and then we have tz lakara is her name but we call her tz um, and then we also have Mickey. She'll be joining us as well. Um, shout out to Butterfly. She is our vegan chef for the evening for our charcuterie board. I am eating uh, vegan right now, guys. <laughs> so I definitely need to link with her. Yes, yeah, she she is really good at what she do. And all of the club members, you know, I just want to shout them out because those are the ladies inside of Sip and Speak. And yeah. they just keep me going. And I thank them for being there for me, supporting me on this journey, loving me. On yeah. this journey, um, they make my heart smile. Um, and I'm just so proud of them for yes. just even being here and present and available just for me and themselves. And like, it's just God would align you yeah. with the right people. Yeah. It's amazing to see it purpose. come together. Like, yeah. you know, I started it a year ago. Um, and literally, it's a year, you know, Sip and Speak is one year old. And and I'm like, wow, I never thought it would be like this. And I honestly, I was scared doing it. I was very scared. Like, I, I was like, okay, maybe. What gave you that know. push to like step out the there? The push, um, the club, the club members. Okay. They they were they so accepting of whatever. It's just like they, they saw it in they, you. They they on whatever I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> they saw so it, in. it just was like. You know the the push of them and listening to their story. So it's it's an interactive audience. If you're feeling comfortable with sharing your story um, or whatever topic or statement that you want to make, we don't force you. But if you want to say something, you can definitely say something. So it's interactive. But the ladies of Sip and Speak, the club members, has really like kept me grounded in continuing to go and go and keep pushing and keep pushing forward. So yeah. I'm just forever grateful. Well, thank you, ladies. <laughs> thank you, because y'all are depositing good stuff into yeah. this world. So we certainly thank you for it. Absolutely. Now, Ashley, yes, I feel like um, a part of your purpose, mm -hmm. this is just me from the outside, you know, looking in, is that you're helping other women and yeah. other people, men as well, to find their voice. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely helping other people mm -hmm. to find their voice at what age would you say that strength rose up in you and you were able to find your authentic voice not the picture that you were painting mm -hmm. you was telling them your dad was coming to pick you up or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or your mom was coming to pick you up but you know what mm -hmm. how old were you when you felt like you were like standing up tall um i i would say to be honest with you um, I was fighting depression up until I was 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I mean, when I say fighting it, it was more of like a battle within myself 
I went through um, it as well. Mm-hmm. You know, just having uh, like thoughts of just not fighting feeling those thoughts. Yeah. Um, beyond that, like yeah. fighting the thoughts, fighting the action. Um, and so up until I was twenty five, because I felt like I had a voice, but it wasn't as impactful. Mm-hmm. Um, and I lost it at one point. And then to to be honest, uh, thirty. I did a photo shoot, um, and in the photo shoot, I said, like, I did a naked photo shoot. And, what? Yeah. Hi, girl. <laughs> she was free, free. Uh, so was what it free. was, I wanted to have it, I wanted it to be me stripping my fears. Yeah. Um. So at 30, when I turned 30, oh, I, I'm goodness. a very That's purposeful person person yeah so anything i do it has to have purpose it has to have meaning behind it even like when i'm gifting people it has to have like a certain meaning with the gift like i'm a purposeful gift giver a a person that thinks things through Mm -hmm. um so i did a photo shoot and i was like i want to be able to strip myself of my own fears strip Mm -hmm. myself of whatever it is that i'm worried about Mm -hmm. um strip myself of my thoughts um just things that just didn't work well for me. I just wanted to be able to strip myself of that. And once I did that, I think that's when I really like got into this, like, yeah, got yeah. into my bag a little bit. Um, but She's feeling herself, y'all. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yes, but I it was sure. more therapeutic for me versus yep. the image that people saw. Exactly. That they, what they saw was, like, wow, you're beautiful and this, 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 yeah. and this. But the purpose of that photo shoot was to strip myself of my fears. And then the next year I released my book. Amen. So, and they probably could feel it through the image. That's not, yeah, something, you know what I mean. Yeah, like you could feel that. Yeah, so. yeah. So uh, it it was it was purpose behind it. So honestly, the age of thirty. Wow. Okay. Thirty years old. See, it's never too. <laughs> it's never too late, y'all. And that's another testament. It's it's never too late, yeah. y'all. Amen. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Amen. Amen. I love amen. it. <laughs> I love it though. I love my story because. It, it comes from a place of passion. Yeah. Like passion is my favorite word. I actually got it tattooed on me. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it, it comes from a place of like, you know, happiness. Like, you know, I'm I'm in a happy place right now, and I'm finally. It's not a good thing to do that right now, sir. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't, but they probably, um, they probably can't hear that. But listen, uh, but see, and then but see, we we. We done, you know, we done got into the trials and tribulations of Ashley S. Stokes, Mm -hmm. okay? We done got into the purpose. I actually told Tom while he over there sleeping um, that I love being connected to people of purpose. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I got to get into this part. Okay. (laughs) Okay. So we touched on on the book. You guys got to get the book, Lost in Child Welfare. When I tell you it's an inspiration, it is truly an inspiration. Get the book, y'all. Appreciate that. Um, I also have my ticket to the Sip and Speak event. Yeah, there's November no way. 6th. There's no way I'm gonna <laughs> just stop there. Um, she's a she's somebody that feeds you. She feeds your spirit, guys. Um, so you need to be in the building as well. But we finna get into this. So now she already says she's happy. I'm she's, in a place of feeling free. I am happy. She's feeling free. She's feeling good, guys. Yeah. What that dating life looking like? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what um, I want to know. What that dating look like? All that we done been through some stuff now, but what? what um. Yeah. I am. I'm open to dating. Okay. Um, you know, I think you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Um, I am open to dating and, you know, for me, dating has to be fun. It has to allow me to be myself. What type of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man that's a man. That's it. Okay. You know? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Like man walking in his purpose. I'm just wanting to be and... purposeful. Um, he has to be, you know, him just be him. Um, just loving on me, loving on him, I guess. You've been single for a while now, right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Yep. I've been single for a while. And I'm, you know, I think it's for a reason, though. Yeah. You know, just learning more about who I am, continuing to learn how to love me, yeah. um, learning to, to and... be with myself. Yeah. Um, and because I know that sometimes that doesn't necessarily. That's not a thing for single women sometimes. It's like we always finding a way to do something more or do something else. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I was just figuring out 
yeah. that I need to be with me. But dating is, you know, it has to be fun for me. I'm I'm open to it. I'm not like one of those people who, you know, who's closed off. Um, but my man, I know he he feel like he's out there watching me somewhere. He is watching. He's rooted for me. I did a um. I did a, uh, what do you call it? Like a psych reading. And she was like, the, your man is actually watching you and he knows you. And I'm like, hey, yeah, sir. whoever he is. <laughs> and... Contact me. <laughs> I got you. Whoever I got he you. is, I don't know. You know, so you send him your way. Um, but whoever he is, I'm I'm sure that he, he's rooting for me. He's just watching me evolve. Yeah. Um, and, I love that. Um, I think that he's very proud. Yeah. Um, he's like, clapping his hands, um, like look at her type thing. And, yeah. you know, since I'm the out person, maybe he's more relaxed. Um, but that's a know, good balance. Yeah. You got to have a balance when you're dating. You yeah. can't just be doing, um, just both can't be two catapults. Yeah. <laughs> it, just can't, it ain't going to work. <laughs> um, and if it is working, I mean, energy. teach me the tricks, but, Amen. um, yeah. So does he have to be tall, dark, and handsome, light skin? Mm-hmm. You know, is there some preferences here? Um, he don't have to be um, either of those things, <laughs> but just uh, I'm I'm a tall woman, mm-hmm. so I you know I I, I can't you want a tall guy. I don't. What care. if he is a little bit shorter? Would if you that's be okay? fine, okay. I don't care. I okay. just just. You see Kevin Hart Just, in his boo. I can't do Kevin Hart though. No. <laughs> you know, I'm all, I'm a lot of women. It's about I just want to feel safe. Mm-hmm. I want to feel safe in my man's arms. Um so just help me feel Kevin safe. Kevin been lifting some weights? I don't care about that. <laughs> I feel like I feel, I feel like the dude in a relationship. So I, I ain't you. saying that he got to be 10 feet tall, yeah. but I'm and 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 the height doesn't I don't want to say that it matters, but it do. Yeah, it's okay for um, us to have a preference. And I'm it so happy A-okay, that you used the P word. Because I love chocolate. So. I'm, I'm so happy that you used the P word. I understand. But, um, I think that the preference of it all is just me feeling safe. I just want to yeah. feel safe in the man's arms. So if it's if we're dating and we're talking about dating, you know, those women who are shorter than me, everybody taller than you. So it really don't matter. But to a tall woman, <laughs> yeah. you know, tall women understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. So no, I want to look up to my husband. It, it, what, even if what we looking identically, just when I put some yeah. heels on, can you just make me feel safe, yes. please? Yes. That's all. And I ain't nice. saying that, you know, Kevin Hart don't make nobody feel safe, but. Well, no, because Kevin Hart already said he ain't fighting nobody. You Kevin Hart to got that bread too. So that, so he his height, security. you kind of, oh, no, forget the security. <laughs> Kevin Hart got that bread, so I don't overlook your height for that money. Oh, like Lord. I don't care what nobody talking about. It's a different about. type of security. Like it's a different type <laughs> of security he got going on. Amen. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, people yeah, just yeah. people talk a good game about that, yeah. but yeah, for me, I you know just make yeah. me feel safe. Amen. And I think that's what all women want, and that's just not too safe. much to ask for. It ain't. The the girls that we get it get it. That. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. It. Why? That's because it. they require it. <laughs> That's because it. Because they require yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Yes, actually. Yeah. So thank you so much, Queen. So we have the sip and speak coming up November six. Now, do you plan on doing this on a consistent basis? What's um going so on? With the ideas that are flourishing in my head. Um, That's where it starts, right? It starts right? with an idea, with a thought. <laughs> That's where it starts. Um, I, I do plan on doing Sip and Speak maybe two times a year, but there, there's a bigger purpose for Sip and Speak. Um, I see Sip and Speak as, as a convention. I see that um, too. Yeah. And I want it to be in a hotel form. Mm-hmm. Um, so I see it bigger than what it actually is. And it's big now. But I see it as a convention. I see it as a weekend, um, as a, 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 you know, somewhere in one of these St. Kate hotels. And we we got the whole Friday, Saturday, Sunday um, type of event. We got multiple speakers. And then um, we we have multiple black women businesses. We have um, multiple uh, ways of connecting and building mm. um community mm. and healing and you know i see sip and speak somewhere in atlanta um you know traveling where 
other black women are um, yeah. so we can connect and collab and talk about different healing um, inspiration. So I see, I see sip and speak as a, a convention weekend. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. We, that's crazy that you kind of just said yeah. that we, in my opinion, I feel like we were taught to hate each other. You know, it depends on, you know, how you look at it. The oppressed, you know, kind of yeah. taught us how to do that, but um taught to look down on our men talk to just be separate as a yeah, community yeah and i just want to build like we're doing the work we're, yeah. to bring it back together yeah, yeah. this generation is yes. do definitely doing the work we are not our parents amen <laughs> we are not the parents amen. that's like i don't need therapy we like i need to go to therapy i need to talk to somebody <laughs> they they was just lost in the sauce you know yeah. and even my beautiful mother i feel like if if she um, unloaded a little bit more. She'd feel a, she's and it a don't make her mom, a, a bad woman. mom. It's just yes, the upbringing. The exactly. upbringing is a little bit she different. Didn't know it has better. It's different. It's right. way different from what she we were doing. She went through a lot. She yeah. went through a lot, and um, she tried her best to protect us mm -hmm. from it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I truly understand. But um, at the end of the day, regardless of what we went through, yeah. It's up to us to make those steps towards better. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's yeah. what you're doing. And that's what you're Try teaching. <laughs> that's what you're, that's the most important part. Because if you just do it on your own, mm -hmm. what impact, right. you know, does your life have on this world? What mm -hmm. impact do you have to others? Yeah. You are teaching through yeah. your healing, teaching other people how to heal as well mm -hmm. and to get their piece of the pie yes. and to yes. get their peace. Yes, you know mentally and all of that good all stuff. All of that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Amen. That's why I was so excited for you to be here. I was like, ooh, tone. <laughs> I was like, yes, me, shine your light. I, I, I need I yes. need I need to speak to this queen. Yes. I, I I need um to be in her presence. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I hugged you twice. When I, first, <laughs> I was like, I hugged her once. I was like, ooh, I want another one. She did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one, you know, because I feel like that's a trans, that's a yeah. transferring of energy for one. Yeah, for sure. And you got, you got I used to really be a hugger, energy. but I'm so happy that I am now. I'm glad you are, because I would have felt yeah. bad. I yeah. would have been like, dang. I, I've grown into it. It had to grow on me. Yeah. To yeah. to learn to feel embraced, because yes. I didn't know how to do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm still learning, yourself, but yeah. you know, when you see yourself as you should see mm -hmm. yourself, yeah. then you're more receptive for of sure. when people see what yeah. they see from yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. I was at a, a woman's retreat. I just kind of told you a little mm -hmm. bit about, um, was it last weekend or weekend before last, Lord? Mm -hmm. um, but this young lady, you know, she was talking about how she felt like her chakras were off and, you know, all this mm -hmm. and that. Um, and she's so beautiful, but she has such a lack of confidence. Yeah. I'm like, girl, be you, are, you a model. Wait, what is you talking about? You I said, surprised. you better start seeing yourself how other people see you. You'll never be able to walk in your purpose and mm -hmm. walk in your identity if you don't. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. matter what we tell you, you have to know it for yourself. Or figure out how to see yourself and why you see yourself the way that you do right now. What stemmed that it's the environment it's the environment or our experiences i know for yeah. me personally it was my experience like you know um in most black households what's the saying she she's smelling herself mm -hmm. um you know if you if you got you know bigger boobs or because you were butt, surrounded by the um, enemy not people lifting you up right people so that wanted to the knock you, you down. look in a certain way could be a certain thing to now where you're looking at yourself like Am I too beautiful? Do I got to tone, tone myself down? Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to question where that comes from. And that's what I would tell that person, wow. you know, like question where that comes from. Because I, I honestly, I was one of those people who I, I used to write in my journals. Like, I hate myself. I hate myself. Like, wow. it, it was so I'm ugly. I'm this. I'm that. You can't tell me that shit now. Like, right. <laughs> And I don't know, like, it's like a, it was like a light switch at some yes. point. Like, girl, please. Yeah. And, and, and you're sometimes, really combating the enemy. Like, you really are. You are. Sometimes for me, like, it was it was almost confirmation that I needed to myself. Like, I used to just tell myself, like, you a badass. Like, yeah, you are. You Like, you know what I mean? Like, you the baddest. Right. Like, you got it. Like, right. you are beautiful. And like, that's attractive to a man. It um, is not attractive to... It's, it, it's attractive to me. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just saying. I, hey, listen now. 
I'm trying to attract me first, then he can come later. Facts. But to your to your future yes. husband, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he's that's gonna be something he watching me. He knows yes, he like that girl. She all right. that he, he, he he I think my husband would be like, She all right. Like he gonna be like that type of person, like you know, what he I mean? gonna know. He gonna yeah. know. Like he gonna hit me with the CIA type of person. Like, okay, I'm okay. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Hey Amen, girl. Yeah. Amen. So I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited about life and what it has to offer now. So, like, I can just see myself in multiple different places. Um, oh yes. Don't I forget am. your girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My God, mama, she say that all don't the time. Like, when you get there, just I, can you just build me a house on the side of you? Amen. Wherever you go, just build my house on the visit. side. Just give me a plate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have my food ready. We good. We yes, good. We good. Yes. So what what are some other things that you would say besides the writing, besides mm-hmm. the speaking mm-hmm. that have added to your overall wholeness as a as a woman? Um. Just being myself. Yeah. Just being it myself. Took to it be took a lot to to, yeah. to learn how to but be myself. Too, yeah. Um, and I gotta go, y'all. Um, it took a lot to learn how to just be myself and continue to love on me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that the biggest part of it was, you know, simply just continuing to be purposeful with me um and be inviting to my ideas and the things that I want for myself. Um, because the first thing to healing is acceptance. Ooh, that's right? powerful. You gotta learn how to accept Ooh. who you are. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a lot of me, and, Lord. And, 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 and to be honest <laughs> with you, I like I said, when I was doing sip and speak, yeah, I had to like I was very uh grounded, too grounded yeah. to a point because I didn't know. That I'm like, like I told you, like I'm a ghetto girl. Um, and I feel like, you know, I could turn it on and I could turn it off. And but I was more, I was so yes. grounded because I was like, maybe they're not gonna accept me like this. And it's like, if I say too many curse words, or if I do too much of this, or if I don't dress like this to appear this way, mm. and I was like, mm. that's more work than doing anything. Mm-hmm. So just be yourself. Yeah. Um authentically you and those people who gravitate towards you they gonna get you they gonna feel you and so it's just learning to just continue to be authentic you don't have to be anything else but that like and once you learn authenticity with you Mm -hmm. you'll learn to accept yourself more so it was just accepting me Amen. That was it. That's powerful. We need a whole like speech on it. accepting oh, me because listen. that's that's like the simplest but one of the most you powerful think. thing um for people to be able to walk in their power. You can't walk in your power as anybody other than yourself. Yeah. And even even myself, I kind of felt a certain way because I know how I am. I love Yeah. I love making people laugh. Mm-hmm, I love mm-hmm. my little quirky jokes. Sometimes I'll make a joke. Sometimes they might not I, laugh. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm the funniest friend though. So Aww. I think I'm the funniest friend. I'm I will not lie to you about that. Because I'm real. Yeah. Like sometimes I say things that come to my head and I'll be like, mm-hmm. ooh, that was kind of love rough but when you're in a safe space you're right and people kind of know that. what it is and like know okay where it's coming from. yeah so exactly. they know exactly where it's coming from yep. and then that's okay yep. but I, I love the fact that uh i can do i can just be me yeah i can just be myself like and i learned when i'm just authentically myself in a space other people they gravitate it allow, and it allows them to authentically mm-hmm. be themselves yeah you know because i can be in a very professional you know yeah. space and state of mind and all that good stuff but, but I'm that ain't you like yeah quirky and you know yeah. what I'm saying? a little bit more laid back and all that i can be mm-hmm. both turn it on and off but um a lot of people are just afraid to be themselves they in are. today's day because they're afraid to be judged yep you know and me I've already judged myself. So you telling me exactly. how you feel about me really ain't going to make me know. Never mind. Exactly. You know what I mean? When so you're no longer afraid to be embarrassed. Like, you're no it's longer okay. afraid of, you know, hair messed up or, you know. Like y'all no going to get afraid. what y'all going to get. Hey, listen, you better tell them. Y'all going to get what y'all going to get. You like last week I had that example. Like I felt like, dang, my hair went done. Uh, okay, and late. and it was at work. And I was like, you know what? 
They gonna get, they gonna get whatever I give them, and exactly. they lucky I'm showing up. Exactly. Like, and so that's that's really exactly. that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I'm sure yeah. they welcomed your presence. Mm. Um, they have no everybody. choice. Amen. <laughs> no choice. Ashley mm-hmm. S. Stokes, y'all. Ashley S. Stokes. See, I was gonna make a joke. I was gonna say I'm so stoked for you to be here, but I was like, maybe that's a little. Too- <laughs> that is funny <laughs> though. <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. See, and I, I shied away from that. So I'm also learning, mm-hmm. you know, to just we just gotta learn to how just to be, be ourselves. to just be That's authentically it. without um, fear of people's judgments. That's it. That's so, it. amen, girl. Show, girl. So, anything else that you feel like is a part of your purpose that you are depositing into the world, or that you want to teach the people? Um, I just know, like one thing, you know, for myself personally. Um, the journey that I've been on with Sip and Speak Social, um, it's a personal journey. I feel yeah. like it's something that I owe to my my inner child. Um, oh, my gosh. We and, gotta, did you write that letter? Um, I did. Yeah. I, I did. I did. That ain't out yet. They don't know about that yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we I, go, I got look, something we go. very special for for the people um, coming um, at the end of this month. And I'm Uh, just so excited. It drops before Sip and Speak comes. But I'm so excited because it's it's putting me in a place of just like freedom. And I think that mental freedom is the best because, um, and mental and emotional Mm -hmm. uh, freedom because it's, it's like, it begins your, like your happiness. Like it starts your happiness it's with life powerful. and and with you. Mm-hmm. Um, so this journey mm-hmm. uh, with Sip and Speak Social is feeding my inner child, and yeah. um, she is very happy. Yeah, um, and she's just you know You're taking care of her. I am. Yes. I am A lot giving of her taking care of them, baby. Her They're flowers that yeah. she deserves, yeah. and. That she didn't get at that. She age. didn't get at that age, or what, whatever it was. I don't care what age it was, but yeah. I'm giving her what she needs, mm-hmm. and Aww, I love being I my like my you. kid self. You know what I mean? I want to hug you. Um, so it just <laughs> makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. So yeah. I'm just so thankful for those joining the sip and speak social journey, um, so that they could feel those feelings too. Mm-hmm. Um, like I mentioned, I'm a purposeful person, and yes. I think that. Um, Sip and Speak was created for a purpose. Um, it's a reason behind it, and I know that you know once once I get there, um, and once everybody else get there with me, it's just gonna be powerful. The energy, just a I dynamic yes. partnership yes. of sisterhood. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm thankful for everything. So uh, yeah, I can't wait. November six. Yeah. Sip and Speak Social, November 6th at Freight 38, 3 to 6 p.m. Tickets are available on Ashley S. Stokes.com. So sold out, y'all. Um, I might be sold out already, but uh, I ain't looked this morning. Um, A S H L E Y S S T O K E S. So Ashley S. Stokes.com for those tickets. So. Now, I do have my ticket, but I am hoping. <laughs> Somebody that one of my you. beautiful friends sees this <laughs> and wants to come with me and wants you to be in the tell building. I've, you gotta man, tell I've told a couple people already, but I really, I really wanted them to see this. Yeah, um, for sure. And yeah, I hope I get a couple people to become to come with me. I they actually told all of the women, yes, yes, come get fed. I actually told all of the women um, that were at the. Um, the woman's retreat yeah, you as well. Yeah, 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 I shared it with them as well. And uh, the so, woman that hosted it, she said, um, I don't know if she said that she read your book or she knows you, but I know, you know, she had a lot of positive words to say about you as well. Yay. So she's my, she's my uh, Moni Yoni lady. Okay. Yeah. You ever had like a Yoni steam? Mm-mm, child. You ever had a Yoni steam? Let me Girl, tell you one thing. that releases trauma too. Yeah. I, th- them going to have to stay on up in there then because I what? ain't even messing with that. Yoni steam? <laughs> yeah. Listen, baby. It's herbs and steam. Tell, come on now. Let's get into it. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> I got to figure you. out the purpose in these. But I ain't getting into nobody's steamers. Okay. Not with my. You sit on the pot. I understand the pot. I understand the steam from the pot. I understand the herbs that's being lifted into you. 
<laughs> but it ain't gonna be lifted into me. Okay, well, tell me, <laughs> tell me why. Um, I'm a sensitive person. Oh, okay. I can't do too many fragrant. Okay. Uh, it's not, no, no. I can't do too many. Okay, okay, okay. Not even human beings. Just yo, see? yo, you gotta, you gotta almost match my chemistry. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna buy the shorty. That's she like to story. be a little. She, she's very particular. She is. <laughs> she is. As she should be. Amen. She's, amen. She's, she ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she ain't gonna do all that. I got you. But it, I, what I have learned is that it's definitely another way um, to physically release trauma, just like working out. Yep. That, that's. We're gonna stick to that. One. We're, gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna work out. Shout out to Shaq Fitness. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. I know Shaq as well. So yeah, Shaq Fitness. He a cold trainer. Awesome, awesome. I'll be meeting with my trainer, um, Jamar tomorrow. Shout out to Jamar. Okay, they know each other too. So yeah. yes, I'm starting my journey again. I was definitely slacking. Mm-hmm. Um, so now getting back. Get I got to put some braids back in my head. You see that? I just got mine. She dropped yeah. my book off, y'all. <laughs> While I was getting my my braids done, she dropped it off in the um the braiding shop for me. So. I appreciate that. Yes, you know, that sure. speaks on your groundedness and yeah, all that absolutely. good stuff. So, I, I feel I like, like that was an opportune time. <laughs> That's an opportune time. You sitting there getting your hair braided. And I read the entire book while yeah. I was sitting there getting my it's hair braided. It was like hour. nine hours. No, I was there for nine hours. You were. Yeah. 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 But it was a good read. It, you know, some people take a little bit longer to read. Yeah, it. It for took sure. Me a little longer than an hour. So that yeah. took long an hour. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's, That's the first time I heard that. Somebody told me they read it in an hour, like an hour, 15 minutes. Okay. So, Miss Ashley S. Stokes' yeah. husband, if you out there watching, no, just get it. <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, are you um, ever going to do like events where the guys are coming? I do have some cooking up. Okay. I got some cooking up. What um, is that like? What's that in- the intention behind that? Um healing okay. um and because you even said you know antoine fisher is mm-hmm. one of in a lot of other boys have yeah. gone through yeah and um, they don't want to talk about shout out it. to harry evans um he he does the heal black man movement i love it and um i do have something in my mind that i want to um right now i'm a i'm baking on it i'm yeah. you know thinking on how i want to do it um more of a next year thing i'm you know mapping out my 2023 right now so it's pretty much finished on how and what's coming out and what you know i kind of like think about it now so i know how to plan it um but i got some cooking up and we're gonna sit on it gonna sit on it we ain't gonna say what it is right now but it's definitely regarding healing yeah yeah do you feel like the guys should kind of stick with the guys when it comes to their healing journey and their Um, process i'm not gonna say what i feel like but i believe that um it's important for both sexes to have their sacred place okay um because you don't have to come from a place of like well you do they do type of thing or you don't have to act a certain way to be chosen mm. or anything like that. So I think it's more so about, um, you know, women need a safe place. Men need a safe place. And I'm speaking black, black men need a safe place. Yeah. Black women need a safe place yeah. to, to be themselves. And, you know, then we could come together and break bread Amen. and have a conversation. Amen. Um, Let's break bread, y'all. Let's break yeah, bread. So I think it's important to have separate spaces. Amen. Yeah. Now, I, don't, I don't like to use feelings because sometimes you got to remove your feelings to have understanding and feelings kind of take judgment a little bit more. So mm, That's powerful. I'm a Pisces, so I needed to hear that because we yeah. feel everything. I'm, <laughs> I'm a Cancer and we, we, we also feel, but I think I got the opposite side of the stick of the Cancer because I... I internalize my feelings and then I act off of that. Okay. So I, you wouldn't know unless you're close to me how mm-hmm. I feel. My sister's a cancer. Um, most cancers say, and you, you're not gonna know from me. Yeah. Like I'm gonna just skirt on out. But um, I got More the opposite. Like cry in private type of person. I am. I don't yeah. like to show. I don't like to show people in my emotions. Y'all got a I feel, song for every emotion. Um, I mm-hmm. feel like, in my feeling opinion, um, <laughs> that 
you know, it attacks, it's an attack on your vulnerability. Oh. Um, but in my professional opinion, being vulnerable is important. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hard. You know, I don't, I don't show my feelings to people who don't know me a lot. Right. But you kind of get a piece of me anyway, because you know, of what I do. Yeah. So you, you know that I become more vulnerable because I, I'm a purposeful or impactful type of person. Yeah, so. That's why God has you on that platform. So people can. Yeah. He's doing that. his thing. Yeah. He's doing his Thank thing. You, Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you, God. He's doing his thing. Yeah. yeah for sure. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Ashley. I appreciate you. I appreciate too. Tony to get his butt on up in you. I am over here. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to get y'all tickets to Sip and Speak yes. Social available on my website, AshleySokes.com. Yes. If you would like to get my book, Lost in Child Welfare, it is available as well. Um, that is me on the cover. Shout out to Amanda Evans, who's my photographer for all of my special things that I need. Um, and you know, shout out to Trail Collier as well, who will be helping me with another project. Shout out to Dooch. Shout out to everybody who's working on projects with me. Shout out to Lewis for making my cuts. You know, I don't know if y'all can see it. There you go. Sip and speak social. Hey, hey. You know, yes, we 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 doing our thing over here. So yeah. I gotta I gotta try. I gotta yeah. try. And yes. I just shout out to everybody yes. that's doing everything. Yeah, um, so you be searching for yeah, that tribe, baby. For real, for so real. That's, that's yeah, stuff I'm that excited. you find yours. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Make sure y'all tune into my live too on Tuesday. We got Teasy Talks. Is it oh every Tuesday? Every Tuesday until the event. Okay. What yeah. time? Uh 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely be tuning yeah. in. On Instagram, Ashley S. Stokes for both. Not Facebook. Facebook. Nope, it'll be on Instagram. Oh, yeah, All you got to do is I'm click old, on there. Y'all. All you got to do is click <laughs> it. On Instagram. Okay. I'm a, I was, she had to teach me yeah. um, how to utilize my Instagram, Lord. I really I really don't be on nothing but Facebook. I, I ain't never had a, twi- a Twitter. Yeah. I've never. Um, That's where I know Tom from. Right, Tom? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never did a... Um, any of that stuff. What is it called? The the TikToks? Are you oh, doing TikTok? I don't have TikTok, but I am going to get on. I, I do have TikTok, but I don't use it as I should. I just need to start using it more. Yeah. Everybody, everybody say that, but <laughs> There's so many I've different never... things in the world. Yeah. So, yeah. That you, so many outlets that we can use. It is. And it's kind of hard to manage it all. Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. That's so, it for me. Yeah. Well, I love that y'all not just kicking it. And that there's purpose behind yeah. the fun. There's yeah. pure intentions, always. all of that good stuff. Yeah, you know, always. Yeah, we we gon we gon kick it, and we gonna be purposeful and impactful. Yes, like I, you know, I love to to do it fun though. Do yes. it fun because you know it helps you. You know, when you're wanting to do something, when you're scared, mm-hmm. you know, when you're feeling fearful, it makes you want to do it. It just makes you want to do it. So, right? We want to um, come to the event. We it's not just mm-hmm. like a um, just a seminar. A lot of people don't. Oh no, their attention span. Like, and it, you know, some people just ain't got time for that. You know? so we got we got vendors y'all bringing in the it building. to life. Um, we get we got your nervous shots coming in. You What's know? nervous shots? It's just shots of alcohol to bring oh, your nerves okay. down. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I need the nervous shots. What's yeah. the nervous <laughs> shots? Just shots of alcohol. So oh, okay. your nerves can kind of relax it. So okay. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes alcohol gets gets it yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Help you out a little bit. I, I've dealt with anxiety really bad. And that was a, one of the um reasons why, you know, I wanted to talk to you so much. Yeah. Because in your um on your website, you talk about coming against anxiety mm-hmm. and um, social anxiety and all that good stuff. So mm-hmm. and just refocusing. Um, what did you say? You said refresh, refocus, and reframe. Yes, <laughs> getting ready for 2023. So I was mm-hmm. like, I need to talk to her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did all your research because you remember it. <laughs> yes. I, don't, I don't play no yes. games, y'all. Yeah. I don't play That's no good, games. Though. That's good because then you know what energies are coming yes. around you. That makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's always good to. Walk in a, it's always, I ain't even just gonna say good, but I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's just, it's nice to walk into an atmosphere mm-hmm. of beautiful black women who are just automatically encouraging yep. and don't have that 
um, that judgment mentality, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which I feel like we've been trained to have. Of course. You know, because a lot of times that'll put somebody else who's coming in new mm-hmm. in a box. Yeah. That has definitely been me. You know, somebody will look at you the wrong way, like, mm, what she what she got on or something mm-hmm. like that. And now, yeah, I done went back into my shell. You know, I've allowed it to affect affect me. Yeah, and I'm um, and I'm glad we changed in the narrative. Exactly. <laughs> and that's and that's what you're doing and that's yeah. a part of the purpose. Yeah. And it's going to I feel like it's going to be um like a domino effect. Mm-hmm. You know, you have that effect on one of our beautiful mm-hmm. women in our community For and sure. then their mindset changes mm-hmm. and now they have um an equal effect on the next person um you know in their surroundings. So Absolutely. this is how we do it. One person at a time. And sometimes person, it takes you step. believing in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? So one thank you step. for believing in yourself. Of course. <laughs> we, can believe in you. <laughs> we can believe in you all day long, yeah. you know? but and, and it's also good for us to tell you what you do for us. Yeah. And what we feel from you. Just yeah. to give you that. I'm still learning to accept. Confirmation. Yeah. <laughs> Was it hard for you to like, accept compliments? It still is. Yeah. It, it's hard for me to accept um Compliments and um, because you want to stay humble and grounded, yeah. and, and I get that. Mm-hmm. But you, you, you have a light on you. you okay, you light. light. Okay, <laughs> light. Okay. <laughs> you do. You do. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, you know. You know. You don't have to do none of this. You can walk in your healing behind closed doors and call it a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have to share this with us. That takes power and it takes strength. Child, I tra- child. listen, <laughs> and people just don't know that them not sharing their stories. I'm not saying everybody is meant to share y'all story. I'm not saying that, but people just don't know that sharing your story is, is a part of their um, process to freedom or a part of their journey to to freedom. I feel like I talk about this a lot. Don't yell at me, y'all, but I say you know the Bible. Stories in the Bible, right? Right, <laughs> right. I feel like I don't think it we was I don't think it was supposed to stop there. I feel like we're all supposed to be writing our own stories. Mm-hmm. And I believe that. Yeah. Uh, and there's purpose in that. So of course. I, I definitely we we gotta write our own stories. Yeah. Still read that one. Read that story though. However you want to read it <laughs> in your own interpretation though. <laughs> Amen. Allow God to uh, give you the clarity for what it means for you and in, in, in your life. Do you believe yeah. in the Father? Um, I try to not to relate. You know, mix, I'm not a religious person at mix, all. I feel uh, like a lot of religious. I try to keep my religious and uh, political reviews separate. separated from okay. what I do. Amen. Yeah. I understand and, you know, that. I we try to like, kind of like, that's not what they say. What TZ say? I don't really mix religion and podcast. Yeah, I got you. I'm <laughs> There's not no boundaries. Person. That's yeah. what they say on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a religious person. I am a woman of faith. I'm a I, spiritual I'm person. Very I, you know, spiritual. I'm very I'm a believer. spiritual. Yeah, but I, I definitely, you know, feel like um, I just, I'll just say I'm not a religious person. You know, I feel like that puts you in the box. Um, Mm -hmm. And I feel like you can't really do the things that God wants you to do when you're in that box. So I was just curious. Yeah, I I try because I felt I felt, you know, his presence. Yeah, um, I try to, you know, I I keep that very separated from from the business. Okay, from from what I do. So the primary points that you'll be um, displaying and discussing at the Sip and Speak Mm -hmm. are. Teaching people how to walk in their purpose. Um, so it'll be more so inspiration. Um, okay. You know, we're focusing more on inspiration and what inspires you while you're healing. So it's one whole topic okay. of that. Now, if you if you're fed multiple different things in that topic, then that is awesome. Awesome. But um, you know, we just try to really focus on one specific topic because we have to keep that conversation to a minimum because it's so many different women um and you know we naturally go off on different things so we kind of want to just be mindful that you know the topic is not saying that it can't veer to the left or veer to the right you know what i mean yeah we just like to kind of let it flow like but it's going to be based on inspiration amen yeah for sure Amen. Yeah. I can't wait to yes, get there. I'm so November excited. 6th. <laughs> I'm November so 6th, y'all. Boom, 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 boom. I know. <laughs> 
I'm getting better at that. She <laughs> is, y'all. She getting better. Yes, she Lord. Better. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. So what do you do in your um in your free time when you're not teaching people how to heal? Um I love to travel. I love to solo travel. Okay. Let me put it out there. I like to travel. This for the myself. husband, y'all. This for the husband that's listening in. <laughs> You got to know her personally now. You can't just, you I like know, to travel. know the teacher. Um, of course, I love to write. Um, I do like to spend time with my friends. Um, you know, of course, creating moments that you never will forget with the people that you won't forget. Um, and, I mean, I just like to, you know, I'm really chill. I'm a lax person. Yeah. Like, when I'm not doing anything, like... I don't want to do nothing type thing. Um, of course, what woman don't love to shop, but um, another I'm form of a, therapy, Lord. Right, it is. Oh, come on now, y'all know we like. And to when do you our look thing. good, you feel good. Oh yeah, present um, yourself in a certain fashion. Yeah, I like I like multiple things though. Like I just like to, but I do love to travel. That's the main one. Okay, that's the main one. So I didn't want to dive too much into the book. I didn't, okay. but it's just. It's a couple of things that you said that I kind of want to just pick apart just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Um, so you said you were kind of, when you were writing initially, you said you were kind of, maybe I misheard. You said you were kind of like worried about the people in the book. Yeah. So I was worried about um, the stories that I would tell about the people that are in the book and how it would impact them and how they felt about me Why? writing it. Um, I was scared. I was just scared. Like, um, not necessarily of them, but right. it was just the result of you didn't want it to have a negative impact on them. Right. Okay. Um, because that not says a, a lot about your character. Yeah. And who you are. But I'd also people that say, hurt you, you still were still protecting them in a sense. True. Yeah. Um, and it also has a lot to do with um how I feel about them with how I feel about me, if that makes mm. sense. Um, like mm. if I'm they're gonna be more accepting of me still type thing. I don't know. So it was more about mm. them feeling towards me type of thing. But you know, after it was released, you know, I still got the same feedback. Yeah. You know, like I got the same stuff. I got the same um results. Like I still got negative feedback, but it's okay. Like I don't, I, I try not to focus on the negative because it's too much light going yeah. around. And honestly, you know? karma does that. The universe does that. Well, yeah, whatever we dish much. out there, it it comes right on back. Mm-hmm. So let them. I don't got to do that too back. much. With exactly. That. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have to do too much with it. I'm just like, well, you know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I always let them know, like. Mm-mm. So I did want to ask you this. So we diving back into the book, y'all. We diving back into the book. So I did want to ask you this. I remember when I was reading, I can't recall the age that you were. I know the book is from when you were 14 to, to four years old to 15. Mm-hmm. But you had gone through so much. And then you got to a space where you were actually in a good environment. You were with a good family. Um but you still felt lost, mm-hmm. even with everything, you know, around you looking like it was supposed to look. You were in the good. You had your friend Ashley, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, all that. But you still, you still felt lost. Why do you think you you felt that? I think a lot of people um, kind of get to that space and they still everything looks fine, like everything is cool. I you think know? it was a place of belonging. I knew okay. I didn't belong there. It mm-hmm. wasn't mine. Where it's, you, you always think about where your family is. Regard, I don't care how good wow. a family is. You're going to think about where you supposed to be. Yeah. So, wow. you know, it was just, I was, he was I, like, it's not mine. It's not mine. Wow. You know what I mean? Okay. So I have a, a real big thing about, you know, having family that's mine. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that, that could sound really possessive, but. No, it doesn't. I want mine too. Like right. everybody else got God theirs. Didn't place us here to be alone. So, so yeah, for that sure. That is a, an innate desire that we all have. That's mm-hmm. natural for us yeah. to, to feel like that. I think that now, though, I do have that. Like my, you know, my biological father, rest his soul. I miss him so much. But um, I have that with his family. Okay. 
you know, my, my biological father's side is a little bit different from my mom's side. I didn't see, um, read about them in, in the... You, you, you won't. Okay. You know. Why um, is that? Are it just protected? Oh, it's coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't wait, y'all. All right. <laughs> I am coming. ready for it. I'm ready for it's it. Coming. So Can't give out all the details. Darn it. Yeah, you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, get a little bit on the Shine Your Life podcast? <laughs> I'll I'll just was, <laughs> I would say next year. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, when they read it, they're going to want more anyways. So um, It's a tearjerker. <laughs> man, like, I, I felt so many things. I mm. felt disgust when, with them freckles. You know, I ain't going to give them all of it, but. You know, you painted a real picture there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I think the number one thing is a lot of other people who have gone through similar things and are ashamed don't understand that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. I think you're telling a lot of people that they're not alone. I share if you um, you probably never listened to my podcast or, or listen to me. No, this is the first time I, I didn't know. Welcome. That. Welcome. <laughs> Um, but I'm very transparent with my journey, yeah, you know, I'm very good. transparent with um, the things that I've gone through. I definitely grew up in a very loveless environment. You know, I was mm -hmm. the first person to tell my mom that I loved her at the age of 18. Um, and she couldn't she couldn't say it back because that's not how she was raised. She wasn't raised around to you be know, affectionate. Yeah. She was like, mm, you too. You too. She couldn't say it back. You know, and eventually, um, and that's crazy. Eventually, she was able to to say it back, and she was saying it too much. But it was like steps that it was like steps that she had to take to be able to get familiar with the feeling mm -hmm. and with being able to to say it in that vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Everything takes steps. It you definitely know? do. Yeah, and some people just it's like riding a bike. I'm trying to tell. Yeah, you. like you said, <laughs> like you said. I'm so trying to tell you. That's crazy. So I'm I sure. think you are. Um, really impacting other people to be vocal about their stories. I'm trying, child. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, you are. You don't I'm have trying. to try hard. Um, it's effortless. And I feel like She said it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> she funny, y'all. <laughs> she funny. And I feel like your tribe and your people um are your support system and your backbones sure. that that help you stand up um mm -hmm. on the on the platform and the stage that you're on. Of course. And Absolutely. we gonna keep elevating you. We gonna because you're feeding going, the we people. Keep growing. Because you're feeding the people. Mm -hmm. That's that's the number one thing. You're For not sure. selfish with your healing. You are feeding the people. That is what we're all supposed to be doing, guys. At some point. Yeah. Create, create, create. That's how you got to And influence. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. on a, in, a, in a positive light. Because all this negativity is trending all day long. Mm -hmm. You know, some people try to um, stand on a platform or stand up tall on somebody else's back. Um, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they try to step on people so they can stand up tall. And we mm -hmm. don't, we're not doing that. Yeah. And I think if we keep doing it how we're doing it, Mm -hmm. um, that'll trend more. You don't mm -hmm. have to do that. You ain't got to talk bad about somebody else for you to, to get win. noticed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know? Um, so yeah, I just thank God that he's showing another side of things, mm -hmm. For sure. you know, and that, um, that we're taking advantage of the opportunity, um, to be transparent and, and to be used, um, in a positive way. So I'm just thankful for that. Of course. Yes. Thank you. Lord, of Thank course. You. Of course. So we got sip and speak November 6th, y'all. Yes. Don't forget to go Ashley to her website. There, there you go. Ashley S. Stokes. Stokes. Stokes, Stokes to have her here. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to say that joke so bad. I was she like, no, nah, we going to chill, chill. We're going to chill, chill. We ain't going to, you know what I'm she saying? Said it, she said it, y'all. We're going to stay in the box. Nah, forget that box. Throw that box away. Throw the box Y'all going to have to just catch me in all of my little quirkiness. There you go. There you go. And we my appreciate hugs. it. <laughs> right. And your hug. Multiple, yes. Lord. Yes, yes, yes. That works for me. Yeah. I will say, I, I know, um, I think about, how a lot of women will be impacted, you know, from you and have been impacted from you. Um, and I know I also believe the guys need to be, the men need to be the ones getting the guys, 
you know, to that higher level, mm-hmm. um, higher level of understanding, betterment, all that good stuff. But sometimes it feels like they gravitate toward more towards the, the women. You know, Sometimes. I don't know. I don't be knowing what they be doing. <laughs> I don't it's know. a question of the intention. Mm-mm. Sometimes the intention don't be right. I don't know what they be doing over there, but shout out to Hill Black Man because oh, yes. he doing some good things over there for the That's guys. Awesome. And see, I'm not familiar with um, Hill Black Man, so I yeah. have to do my research on Definitely, that. Definitely um, Hill Black Man on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, he got some great In things Milwaukee. going on. In mm-hmm. Milwaukee. Awesome. Great things going on for the men. Um, so yeah, we, we, he do the, the men and I kind of do the women. So, That's awesome. you know, we kind of keep those things separate, but he did have something that was, you know, for men and women. Okay. Um, but you know, I don't really know. I, I try, again, I try not to pass judgment. Yeah, y'all come together though. Y'all, y'all come together. Yeah, we, we will, um, at some point in the future, I can see that, but you know, right now our, our focus is a little bit different. Okay. Um, so, and that's probably a part of the steps. Yeah, you, you gotta know. take the steps, yeah. necessary steps to make things happen. I don't really keep them separate, then bring them together, right? You know, because they that's have to right. do that healing right. and um, healing the work on their so own needed and all that. separately. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah, you need you your sisters, you need time. your brothers, right. and then bring them whole people together. Yes. Yeah. Once we come together, it's gonna families. be a it's, it's gonna be a problem. We're gonna be a problem <laughs> out here. <laughs> yes, I love it. I yes, love it. For sure. A beautiful problem to have in this world. Yes, of course. Yeah. They and will it, be available. Oh, okay. Y'all gonna be selling the glasses? Yeah, they limited edition. Okay. Yeah. I definitely will have to get a couple mm-hmm. for myself. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Limited edition. I'm a wine girl, so yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They will be I'm available. definitely gonna get a glass of wine, glass of Merlot. When we leave here today, uh, getting together I, with the ladies. I, I'm I'm prepared to get me a salad. I'm so hungry. Yes, <laughs> I'm on my vegan thing right now. So, um, so yeah. yeah. But I'm about to get together with the ladies. We're gonna talk about this. Me getting them there. Okay. Like y'all, come on now. That's so. Cool. But sometimes people just are stuck in their box. But it's when you get outside your box, yeah, that you're able to get those gifts mm-hmm. that God has for you. Mm-hmm. So you gotta do what you can. Yeah, thanks for stepping outside your box. Of course, child. Not being in your comfort zone, not allowing your, you know, um, past situations and circumstances to to keep you in that space. For sure. So amen. Of course. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having me. So what else you want to tell the people? I don't know what's on that. Been here the whole time. <laughs> wrap it up. Oh, I'm so th- no, you're supposed to do we, the thing. I can do it from here. Oh, I told you. okay. But what else would you want to to tell the people um, that that you just wanted? To, what's what's the message? What's the um, overall message of Ashley S. Stokes that she is depositing into the um, world? I would just say uh, the best thing that you can do is be your authentic self. Um, and just continue to be, um, purposeful, um, continue to be intentional about everything that you do in your life. Because once you apply intent to healing, I think that's the, you know, revolving door for yourself. Like you constantly, um, we think about a lot of different things outside of healing, Mm -hmm. but the main thing would just be intentional about everything that you want to do. I swear that is the foundation of everything. It having intent. pure intentions. Now that it that's not enough to get the results that we need, but that is that's the starting point. It is. It truly is. It's a start and it, the end because it's a revolving door it with is. intent. It is. So you have to just be intentional but your actions about everything. Have to line up with it. Some it people does. have pure intentions, but they you're you not know, doing nothing. Exactly. To, they have to have the leg. Exactly. The leg room to exactly. move that. So, and even if you don't have the leg, just do it anyway. Amen. Do Amen. It anyway. so. Amen. So now I did share with you that I struggled with anxiety and social anxiety and all that stuff. Did you feel like you had anxiety when you stepped up on, on that stage to Mm-mm. teach the people? No, you ain't had no anxiety. No, I it wasn't anxiety. It was more if if you call being scared to talk okay. anxiety, but like it was more like, like stage fright. No, I don't have stage fright. Okay. Only if I'm She's doing like, no, karaoke. I, got, no. I can't do karaoke. I got stage fright with singing okay. on a mic, but I don't have stage fright when talking. Okay. No. 
It's just like a power that just comes through. That's just like, uh, I think it's my gift. It is. Yeah, it's my gift. Natural. It's a natural thing. Some people can, they come out the room drawing. I just came out the room being able to talk. Amen. <laughs> so what what advice would you give to somebody uh, that deals with anxiety? Um, definitely see a therapist. Um, see a therapist because anxiety is something that's triggerful all the mm-hmm. time. Like you're being triggered a lot. Um, and with anxiety, you have to find things that are kind of like easy for you to do. Right. Um, you know, if, if speaking on a mic isn't your thing, I wouldn't suggest doing speaking on a mic. You know right, what I mean? Right. I would suggest maybe doing something that, you know, is less harmful to that anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, writing is always a thing. Peaceful. Um, just you know, it's close. peaceful. But in order to get out of like that brain or that anxiety type of brain, I think that people have to do the thing that they're scared of. Exactly. So if you're scared to write, maybe you should write. Exactly. If you're scared to get on the exactly. stage, maybe you are. You Don't run away up. from it. Don't, go towards you just it. Go towards it. So, I and that's how you, you attack anxiety exactly. is doing the things that you're scared of. Exactly. Exactly. So, and, and then, then you, you figure see, out like. It wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> It that wasn't was it? so bad after all, Lord. <laughs> so exactly. yeah, that's pretty much because it. Because it'll keep you in that box. Yeah. Um. So in any any type of fear, we'll see. Look at you all here helping folks. Helping I don't know. people. <laughs> I'll try. Yes. You don't have to try hard. Yeah. So God, we thank you for that. Okay. So once again, y'all. Sip and speak. It's sip November and speak. 6th. November Get your tickets on ashleystokes.com. Calm. Yes. Ladies, get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets. Yes, ladies. <laughs> and ladies who know me personally. 21 and up, please. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And then we also have Lost and Child Wear Fit. Yes, it's available on my website as well. Yes. A very inspiring book, y'all, that will take you on a roller coaster of emotions. Um so yes it will will. (laughs) yes it will so definitely uh get the book for sure yeah for sure so this has been a great episode y'all on the shine your light podcast again i was so excited to have this queen present um i was so excited to be fed by her because she seemed when i first met her like the type of woman that was going that feeds everything around her you know, certain certain type of people that everything they touch gets better. That's it. And that's all. So don't blame me for wanting to hug you. As soon as I saw you, I was like, oh, <laughs> come here. <laughs> so uh, we appreciate your pres- presence. Sure. We appreciate you walking in your purpose and not being afraid to do so. Of course. And having that. Um, I want to say beautiful confidence, but having that because you make it beautiful. Oh, thanks. Yes. Um and also, like you said, you could be a powerful woman and still walk in your femininity yes. and thrive in that. And you're an example of that, which is another message that we want to teach the ladies. Of course. Self-love, you know, walking your um, walking your purpose. I think sometimes people don't know how what their purpose is. So I think one thing that you're doing is also helping them to walk in their purpose Absolutely. or find out what their purpose is. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, so we want to thank you for being here. Thank you. We're going to wrap you. it up. Ladies, be there or be square. We love y'all. Thanks for joining us at the Shine Your Light Podcast. Have a good one, y'all. See you.